garbage men or woman of the world. What's the best or worst thing you have found thrown away? Mystery of stuff. Not me but my brother. Someone apparently threw out grandpa's stuff from the attic after he passed away. This was the last scheduled pickup at the house and everything was already moved out, nobody living there. Driving an automated, claw-to-grab-and-dump truck, my brother was irritated there were these two bowling bags he had to get out to throw in the truck. He realized they seemed a bit heavy, so he opened them to see why. Inside there was real silver silverware, flatware. He ended up selling it for scrap prices to a jeweler and got $3,000. Friend of ours found two bullet-resistant vests with paramedic written across them, being thrown out behind a fire station. I guess the expire or something. When I was a kid my dad worked for a company that hauled away dumpsters and at one point found an old alto sax complete in the box. Ended up playing it for four years up until high school when it was stolen, couldn't play after that since my family couldn't afford a rental let alone pay for a new one. Worked as a garbage man for a very short time last summer, but the best thing I found was an edition of my local newspaper from the day after the Challenger exploded. My dad used to rent out apartments. One tenant had died and left behind some stuff. There was an old newspaper dated the day asterisk before asterisk Archduke Ferdinand had been assassinated. A Lane Cedar Chest I was helping my dad clean out this lady's garage and she said as long as we were there, we might as well take that too. She said she always hated the smell of cedar, but her husband wouldn't let her get rid of it, and now that he was dead, she was sending it on its way. The veneer was never in great shape, but it still keeps my wool items safe. I've had it for over 30 years now. In the 80s I picked up a number of Philips color TVs. I had a few, so fixing them was just a question of swapping parts. I then sold them cheaply or gave them away to fellow students. I knew a guy in college who made money on the side getting LCD monitors off Craigslist that had stopped working and repairing them. He said he just checked all the capacitors, and like 80% of the time he'd find one blown or dried out, replace it, and it worked again. A capacitor off DigiKey is like 30 cents so even reselling them for $10 he'd still make a decent profit. My little brother was emptying out a client's basement and everything was going to be thrown away so my brother was told to keep anything he wanted. He saw a nice looking bike and took it. Turns out it was a Dahan Mu P8 30th anniversary limited edition and in perfect condition. From what I found on it, it goes for over $4,000. In the early 2000s my best friend's dad was a garage man. I used to hang out at their house a lot, and I remember him finding uncut sheets of holographic Dragon Ball Z trading cards in the trash and bringing them back. They were super dope to see. I worked as a garbage man in 1972. A small stray cat jumped into the back of the hopper to look for food. I took him home and named him Saigon. This was the best thing. Second best thing someone threw out an old pair of skis. There was snow on the ground and me and the other guy each took a ski and stood on it and held onto the truck, great fun. Third best we found an entire case of brill cream, look it up, and me and the other guy had brill cream fights all day, total mess, I stripped off before going into my house after work. Worst things a garbage can that had live coals in it that started our truck on fire. My dad was a trash man when I was growing up. He would always be bringing cool stuff home to us. He used to always say that the poor neighborhoods had the most trash, and they threw away literally everything. The two best ones that I can think of was a brand new BMX bike, and like 20 Nintendo 64 games that he found at a video rental store. Also once at the transfer station one of his co-workers found a dummy arm in the big pile of trash. He pulled it and it ended up being a dead guy, the police later determined that it was a homeless person that got picked up and died when the trash truck compacted him. Found a 55-inch TV next to the dumpster four years ago. It was missing one HDMI port on the side. It looked like someone might have tripped and ripped it out. Anyway, 
I opened it up googled the motherboard serial number and found a brand new replacement for like $60 less than 25 minutes away, needless to say I called ahead on my day off picked it up, and it works like a charm. Still use the TV to this day. 55 and Sony 2012 LCD TV. I have Chromecast with Google TV hooked up to it now, and it's awesome. For a couple years we were using a high-powered 720p projector meant for lecture halls as our TV. It had been thrown out because it didn't work, which turned out to be because there was a big dust ball in the mechanism, and it was otherwise in perfect condition. We've got a less bright 1080p projector now, but honestly overall I preferred the old one, I can barely tell the difference in image sharpness most of the time, and the contrast was so much better. Not a garbage person, but I live in a large apartment complex. I could have furnished multiple apartments with all the stuff that gets thrown out here, and partially furnished mine, but the best thing I've seen in the pile was one of those grandfather clocks you can make from a kit. Still looked very nice, but it needed some fixing to get it to run again. I'm still waiting to find a piano, I would like a piano. Hey for free stuff like furniture and kitchen supplies and random as stuff you might need, head to large college campuses at end of semester. A lot of the big ones have zones to drop crap dorm livers don't need anymore or can't bring home to the parents' house. I've gotten so much fantastic stuff in good condition for free before they dumped it to a landfill. Some friends and I take a truck two hours across state and get a great haul. I'm not a garbage man, but I once scored a whole custom-built staircase from a dumpster. It was in perfect condition but apparently built to the wrong spec. It worked great for my barn. Yeah throwing away a whole staircase is actually pretty complicated, there are quite a few steps. Mystery of stuff.